to the UITP World Summit 2023 in Barcelona. My name is Petra from Team Keolis and we are here on 5, 6 and 7 June. And to give you a flavor on what we are doing, we bring to you a daily behind the scene report. Let's check out day one. Keolis, in partnership with the public transport authorities, um, is committed to help me helping passengers at every step of their journey, um, regardless of their uh, mobility issues. So Arno, how does it work for passengers that, for example, can't uh, see? Yes, when we talk about uh, this app, it's also an app av available for disabled people and we use the voice over on this EasyMob app. Well, this is the, the job of our teams uh, every day, so to make uh, public transport uh, safer, uh, more comfortable, on time, uh, more frequent, uh, electric uh, green, uh, with less noise and less uh, particles and pollution. So it's really uh, also uh, all our employees being uh, ambassadors. Uh, all our employees are key to welcome our passengers and uh, for them to feel comfortable in, uh, in our public transport. Uh, you know, we are in a fast-changing environment and really data is critical to make informed decisions. Uh, so for instance, we have developed um, a digital platform which is fed with uh, GPS data from people's smartphone, but also other data such as ticketing data, real-time information from public transport, for instance. And this gives us um, a dynamic picture of all trips being made in a given city or in a given region, whether people are walking, cycling, driving their cars, or on public transport and this really helps us to design a very specific uh, and well-adjusted transport offer matching uh, the people behaviors and people uh, mobility patterns. We had a very interesting first day here at UITP Barcelona capturing many interesting stories and welcoming a lot of visitors at the stand. Curious what tomorrow brings. Stay tuned! We are back at the UITP Summit in Barcelona for the second day. Follow me. Today we will be capturing new behind the scenes stories from our speakers at the conference, but also here at the demonstration stand. It is important because it helps us going beyond legislation uh, regarding accessibility. You know, as a public service transport provider, um, it is one of our duty um, to take into account every disabilities to make sure that uh, we make mobility accessible for each and all passengers. And how could we improve that accessibility for all passengers? We have to improve accessibility when designing and deploying services and thinking about the whole experience. You know this is our DNA to think like a passenger and we aim to do this at every stage of the journey. Uh, for today, what's important is to show that uh, we can do services with uh, shuttle in level 4. So this is really important for us to show that we are ready to do it uh, with uh, all um, bus operator that's no regulator that we have trained to, to be regulator for today. And uh, we're also using an app uh, for on-demand service. So you can order the shuttle from the application, uh, from the parking to the main building, for example, uh, with this tablet. And so you will uh, just send the mission to the, to the hub, to the shuttle. Well, I think if you look back at the pandemic, you know, a couple of years ago, there was a view that public transportation was on its knees and maybe wouldn't be relevant in the future. What we've seen now with the disruption to journey patterns with passengers wanting different offerings, that as regional rail is evolving, as we're increasing service frequency, as we're increasing the quality of the service, actually people are flocking back to the system. And there's a real vibrancy at the moment around the future of regional rail. We're seeing it in the United States, we're seeing it elsewhere in Europe. Um, and that recovery, I think, is being driven by innovation, by focusing on the passenger experience, and by focusing on providing services that are convenient and contemporary for people's needs today. 
We study every time we have a trial, we make surveys just to understand the fears of the passengers. And even on the level 4 service we have currently in Châteauroux in France, where we no longer have a driver on board, people are still feeling excited about coming on board. So these results are very positive and uh, bring us a lot of uh, uh, energy for the future. Antonia, it's a complex and challenging uh, topic, so you must be inspired by something. What is it? Sometimes solutions are, are very concrete and very simple to explain. So, for example, we have some entities where we stop talking about temperature within the, in, within the tram, but talking about the comfort. So, uh, we all know it, but uh, when there's a small breeze, we don't feel the heat in the same way. So, sometimes it could just be about creating that flow of air to improve the comfort, and not just lowering the temperature with the aircon that uses a lot of energy. It was another successful day for Keolis at UITP. We highlighted the accessibility for the elderly, the autonomous service on demand, but also the transformation of railways in the USA and the adaption of public transport to climate change. Tomorrow is the final day of UITP. See you then. Buenos dias. This is the third and final day of the UITP Global Public Transport Summit in Barcelona. My name is Petra from Team Keolis. Let's find out what's happening today. Hello Pierre. Hello. Today um, two Keolis uh, PTAs were recognized with a special UITP award. Would you like to say a word on that? Sure. So indeed uh, uh, we had this morning uh, two important awards. One for uh, Qatar Rail uh, for the World Cup and as well the RTA in Dubai uh, for the World Forum. And there in Dubai and Doha, uh, they, they deserve a, a great, a, a great, uh, a great bravo. Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, I think the on-demand transport needs to be really designed with the customers in mind. And when you do that, when you develop a system that people want to use um, as a first and last mile connectivity, it actually takes people uh, from their home or close to where they are to a multimodal hub. And that enables them to, rather than choosing to take their car, to take an on-demand transport to connect to public transport. And what is the highlight of this summit for you? So this summit, uh, uh, first it is uh, maybe the biggest ever we have organized. Uh, I mean, uh, and also the attendance that we have here is a very high attendance uh, after four years, because it's the first one after four years. Uh, so it was much uh, desired and much expected by, uh, by our members and by the, uh, our stakeholders. Uh, we see a lot of discussions here about the uh, some new challenges, I would say, for public transport. One is the uh, shortage of skills, of workforce in public transport. This is a global uh, trend. Uh, uh, we are lacking drivers, uh, we are lacking uh, experts, managers, uh, IT uh, specialists, etc. And so, how, and we are competing with other sectors of also to, to attract them. So it means we need to convey and need to develop um, a stronger brand, a employer's brand for, of the sector. We have reached the end of UITP 2023 in Barcelona. We had three amazing days discussing and speaking about inclusive, sustainable, comfortable, autonomous and on-demand transport. I will now pass on the floor to Marie-Ange de Bon for a final word. Uh, it was a pleasure. Pleasure to have the full family of the public transport all together. So thanks to the uh, UITP and all the people uh, who uh, every day try to improve uh, the quality of life of uh, passengers. So it was a great pleasure to have the Keolis team and all the family of the public transport all together. Thank you for following us. This is Petra, Team Keolis. Adios.